It's your dream car. It's Cinco de Mayo today and I had the day off. Um, this morning I just woke up late, took a shower, did my usual, and then I went to get a haircut in Little Saigon in Orange County. Um, I always go to Asian places because it's not to be racist or anything like that. It's just that they cut my hair texture their entire lives or their entire career. So they know it relatively well. So I've never had a bad haircut and it's super cheap. So I've been really into making playlists on my Spotify lately. I used to do it a lot more and I actually used to make um, playlists on my blog. And then I stopped doing that because it kept getting taken down because of uh, download issues and whatnot. It's not really legal. So I started making the playlists on my Spotify account instead. So here, I'll show you. These are my playlists over here. So if you go to my Spotify, these are all the playlists that I've made. Um, and then someone asked to put Discover Weekly on there just so they can see what I listen to weekly or whatever. I never really listened to this to be quite honest, so those of you who are listening to that, sorry. I guess these would be my favorite bands. A lot of people ask me what my favorite bands are and I never really have a good answer, so I would say these are my favorites. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club's on here, Smashing Pumpkins, Queens of the Stone Age, White Stripes, Death From Above. Ian Sully is a playlist I made for my boyfriend with music that I think he might like. I need to update this though. And then there's like a prom one, which when I was in high school, like early high school, we listened to a lot of this stuff. Like Ha Ha He, it's kind of like dancey rock, corporate rock, I don't know. The Hives, France Ferdinand, that kind of stuff, Elephant, Interpol, Block Party. And then there's like a 90s one with like nostalgic music, classical music, which I really need to add to, jazzy sounds, which is like mostly... I mean, it describes itself. Hip hop, which is like more like 90s hip hop. I'll make like an updated one with like updated rap or whatever. Um, data entry is just like a bunch of post-punk indie type music. And then San Fran is like 70s, 60s, 70s, a lot of Brit pop. I really like the animals, so there's a lot of the animals on this and the zombies. This song from Sammy Davis Jr. I listen to at least once or twice a week. I love that song so much. <laughs> Um, I'm uploading a video right now, or a vlog that's kind of overdue. It's like two or three weeks together in one vlog, so I hope you guys will enjoy it. It will be up um, before this, obviously. My Soul Funk Disco playlist, which I made when I was living in Long Beach, and I always add songs to it. This is 132 songs, 9 hours and 48 minutes. This is the playlist that my work plays a lot, or we play at my work a lot. It's just a bunch of, you know, funk soul disco. Yeah, and this is actually the most popular playlist. It's like four times more popular than the second most popular playlist. And then I just shot a video for this new Glossier Bomb.com flavors. And there's three flavors. There's rose, cherry, and mint. And they sent this over and they're like, hey, please keep it on the down low until the launch date or until like the 6th and the launch date is like the 9th or whatever. But yeah, the video isn't sponsored. They just sent it to me and they're like, hey, please keep it on the down low. But I'm such a huge, huge Glossier fan that I just shot a video. I know I'm like a nerd about it, but I just love Glossier that much. And I love the bomb.com that much. I mean, I keep them in my car and I keep them just about everywhere. So um, I just wanted you guys to know a little bit about it. So I shot a video. Um, I'll link it down below if it gets up before this vlog. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours and I just moved my desk in front of the window because I figured I do my makeup here anyway. I have this like roll cart where I put all like my makeup and then I do it right in front of the window because it makes sense. And recently I've, just been, whoop, recently I've just been like hovering above the window so it just makes a lot more sense to have the um, desk here, I'm trying to justify it. And then I moved my record player with all my records and whatnot over there. I still need to unload some boxes of records too. Um, anyway, I had some requests on how to use this thing, which is this hairpin that I use, and then um, also how to tie my scarf. So the hair thing, um, my hair is actually straightened right now because I just went to the hairstylist. So it's gonna be kind of hard, but usually it works really well with dirty hair or textured hair. So I would spray it with some dry shampoo if I were you. So this is what I like to use. This is Batiste. Um, 
but usually on a day-to-day -day, I don't have to use it because my hair kind of has grip. So what I do is I just kind of get it up into a bun like this. And then what you do is you just twist it all the way around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I usually do a low bun because it works better. And then to be honest, when I first did this, it didn't work that well. Um, and then I used to use spin pins and those, I mean, those worked, but it didn't work as well as this does now. So Caitlin taught me how to do this. So basically you can do this with a regular bobby pin too, but I have such thick hair that I have to use one of these things. Don't need some. So what you do is you stick it into the center and then you twist it out like that and then you kind of weave it underneath and then tuck it up. So you kind of have to do a in, out, over motion. I just had to ask Donnie for some like design help because I don't know shit about design and I wanted to post a photo for the glossier stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I tie one of these things. Um, hopefully that demonstration of this thing made sense. So what you do is, if this is your bun, basically is instead of just putting it through like that, you want to start it in the center, kind of weave it, tuck it underneath, and then tuck it back. So you want to scoop in, scoop back out. It takes practice, um, and I didn't get it right the first few times, but basically what you're doing is just locking your hair back in. So instead of just pulling it straight through, you go in, back, and then back around. Kind of weave it in. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this now. What I like to do is take a square scarf like this and then kind of make it so that it's like a taco, like that. And then grab the two ends, the point on the bottom, and then you just kind of spin it like that. And then, so there's like a little triangle right there, right? Just a little bit. And then you just kind of put it on your neck and then grab it from the back, tie it back in the front. And then you just tie it. I like to tie it twice. So once over and then under. So then you get a little boop boop right here. And then you get a little tie right here. A little knot or whatever. And it looks cute and it keeps you warm too because it covers your entire neck. And then another way that I like to do it is if I want it a little bit more casual or a little bit more loose, less French, I guess. What I do is I just do the same thing, basically. But instead of rolling it, I just kind of scrunch it like that. And then just tie it. Like how I normally would, so over under. Usually I keep this, so I did it the wrong way, but um, I'll fold it the opposite way so that this doesn't show a little tag. Or you can also just remove it, which is a finite solution. Anyway, um, yeah, you just tie it and then you can do it once, you can do it twice. And you get a little doodad like this. And then what you wanna do, what I like to do is I break it up. So I break this part up and I break this part up and then you're good to go. Obviously, Ideally, you wouldn't want this to show. If you guys want me to demonstrate anything else, let me know because I got a lot of requests on how to tie a kerchief like this and then how to use one of these things. And I'm also really happy to show you, but I'm really bad at explaining stuff. <laughs> so sleepy. I got my couch back and now it's a like gray mohair texture. Wednesday already got it kind of wet. Um, She's so sad right now because Donnie's mad at her. Oh. So last night I fell asleep at around 10.30 and then I woke up again at around 2.30. I think Donnie got home or something like that. Um, so yeah, I woke up again and then I couldn't go back to sleep. I could not fall back asleep. So then I just kind of just sat there for a little while. And then, um, then I just like edited my video, which took like about an hour to edit. And then I still wasn't tired. So then I uploaded it. So I wasn't tired and then, so I stayed up for like three hours until like 5.30 around then and then fell asleep and then an hour and a half later at seven o'clock in the morning, my freaking smoke detector started chiming or like chirping or whatever because it's out of battery and that was the most annoying sound ever. I'm like, this can't be happening. I'm like finally asleep and 
this thing has to wake me up. So then I had to take that apart. Anyway, today's Friday the 6th and I kind of have a busy schedule today. Um, 9 a.m. was the couch pickups. I already did that. Photo shoot with Anise, which is Lindsay's skincare brand um, at 11.30. They're already there right now. It's 10 a.m. already. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower real quick. I don't have to do my makeup or anything like that, so I might just pack that stuff and I have to pack a nude top. Um, I'm gonna try and carry you guys with me. I don't know if it's like super secret or whatever. I think that'll be fun. It's in Silver Lake. I might have lunch with my friend Heather because it was her birthday um, a couple weeks ago and I have some presents for her in my car. So yeah, I'll try to document as much as I can. How'd it go? It's going good. It went very well. It's going very well. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> Are you gonna tattoo today? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you think we're gonna. I'm still. I have some stuff on my phone. Looks good. All this makeup. Yeah. You got a mate latte too. What is this sandwich? I don't know, there's tofu on it. It's a breakfast. <laughs> vegan, vegan and ham. And you got potato hash. How is it? Great. <laughs> Bloody Maria. Yep. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What did you find, Trisha? Shoes. These slides for only eight dollars. Only eight dollars. You actually found them. For me. You found weirdos from. Wait, you love Calvin and Hobbes. You should get those in. I already have it. Gypsy wagon. Gypsy wagon. It's a Colson pomegranate. What's this one, Ian? Nanya. Nanya? Nanya business. <laughs> no. It's called honey cream. <laughs> no, it's not. What is <laughs> I it? I would never drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and cigarettes, catch fries. Chai latte. Large cap. Did you order a large cap? No. Oh yeah, best day of the week. Saturday at Taco Mesa. Ooh. I like your dress. I like your dress. We're wearing the same outfit today, but it looks so cute on you. Look. It looks so cute. Wait, wait back up real quick. I want to see the whole outfit. I love the sides. Not my shoes, though. No, your shoes are so cute. I love it because it looks like an apron. You know? Sure. I got the apron top, tie in the back, and it ties in the front, and it wraps down, and then I got my Rachel Clemmies on. Fashion. 